Hello everyone, here's a question on HCF. The question is, what is the HCF of two consecutive numbers? So if you take two consecutive numbers, what will be the HCF? Now, consecutive numbers means what? Consecutive numbers means a number which come one after the other. For example, uh, three, four are the consecutive numbers. Like they are just coming one after the other. Like nine and 11, they are not consecutive numbers because there's a number 10 which is missing here. If it was nine, 10 and 11 we can say they are consecutive so consecutive means the numbers which are in sequence like one after the other which comes they are called consecutive now we have to find out the hcf of two consecutive numbers so you take any two consecutive numbers what will be the hcf so for showing that we're going to just take a two random examples you can take any two ex uh, any two numbers two consecutive numbers you show the hcf and then that's it. So normally the HCF of two consecutive numbers is same. You take any two consecutive number, the HCF is always same. So let's find out. So first I'm going to take a, uh, two small numbers. Let me take uh, here like a uh, four and five. Okay. This is the first example I'm taking. We're going to find out the HCF of four and five. So you're gonna use a division method or you can use uh, HCF, the prime factorization method, both are same. Here I'm gonna use the division method for the first example. So in division method, which is also called as a Euclid division algorithm or Euclid division, where you're gonna find out the HCF by division method. So f when you're doing a division, you should take a number, the greater number in like a dividend and the smaller number will be the divisor. Four is a small number, it will be a divisor. 5 is a greater number, like uh, compared to 4 and 5, 5 is greater, so that will be a dividend. Now divide it. So 4 ones are 4, a remainder is 1, right? Then, so the second step, I guess you know how to do this Euclid uh, division. In the second step, 1 will become whatever remainder we got, that will become divisor. And the divisor of the previous step, so divisor here is 4. So 4 will become the dividend in the second step and 1 will become divisor. Again, you have to do the normal division. So 1, 4 is a 4. Subtract it, we got the remainder 0. And here, HCF will be 1. So in the last step, where you got the remainder 0, the whatever divisor you have there, that will be the HCF. So here, HCF of one, uh, 4 and 5 will be 1. That is one example. So let me take an, another example of a two-digit number. Let us take here 16 and 17. So for this example, I'm going to show you using a prime factorization method. So we're going to do a prime factorization of both 16 and 17. So here we have 16 and here we have 17. Now 17 is a prime number. See, I have taken a consecutive numbers. 4 and 5 are consecutive. 16 and 17 is a consecutive. Now we're going to do a division. Uh, sorry, the prime factorization. 16 we have. 16 is an even number. I'm going to start with a 2. 2 is a prime number, remember. So 2 8s are 16. Then we got 8. So 2 4s are 8. Again we got 4. 4 goes in 2 tables. So 2 2s are 4. Again we got 2. So 2 1s are 2. Now in case of 17, 17 is a prime number. It doesn't go in any table except itself. So 17 ones are 17. I hope you know how to find out the HCF here. So 16 is equal to, write down all the factors you got here. It's 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Okay. And, and 17, we got just got seven, uh, 2 into, let me write down 1 also here. Here we have just 17, so 17 into 1. Now the highest common factor is nothing but the factor which is present in both you have to circle up. Only one is present in both. One is a common factor here. So you have to just circle up all the common factor which are present in both and multiply them. Now since only one is present, so HCF will be HCF of 16 and 17 will be equal to 1. If there was another number which is common present in both, you have to multiply that like 1 and that number. But since there is no other number which is common except the 1, so HCF will be 1. So you can see that in the first example 4 and 5, the HCF was 1 like here I have written. In second case like 16, 17, the HCF is again a 1. If you take any two consecutive number, HCF of this two con consecutive number is always a 1. You can take any other example ex apart from this two. Now that's it. I hope it's clear. In case you have any question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.